What about big business? Now, that's a great question. So I suppose you almost have to start thinking about what do we mean by big business? Are they the big global brands we see in supermarkets? Or could it be the banks? Could it be the financial institutions? Well, the financial institutions I'll start with um, have actually taken some very positive strides now. What they require from business when they're looking for investment is to see what their social development goals are. This will include what are you doing to improve things in the environment. So what is it that this investment brings that's right for profit, but also people and the planet? And so financial institutions are then providing money for investment, which goes to the big brands. The big brands, of course, they have a responsibility, along with the retailers, to communicate what they're doing to enable us to have the life we should hope to have. And I will digress for a moment. The life I hope to have could actually be the life I hope my children and my grandchildren. As a grandparent, I find the thought of my grandchildren not seeing all the things that I've seen, experienced, as a minimum, the idea they may not have that because of global warming is the most unnatural thought process for me. My generation have done some great things. We've improved lifespan, using modern materials with plastics, for example, we now have better double glazing. We all have central heating in our homes. Life expectancy has increased. Fantastic. But unfortunately, there have been a number of unintended consequences. We didn't think about carbon emissions, but we do now. There is people around who are willing to take this subject matter on. And thankfully, governments are beginning to take interest as well. But at this stage, it's interest. If I took COP27, Alok Sharma's closing remarks of COP27 ring in my ears. And he said, first thing we've got to do is we're going to look at ourselves in the mirror following this event. And then the second thing we've got to do is we've got to explain it to our families, our children. Because governments really didn't step up this time round. They can do. They did in COP26. The UK government produced an industrial decarbonisation strategy which summarised that what we need to do is to be granular with our data, accurate in our calculations, transparent in our communication, to be authentic and trustworthy, and to give a labelling solution to enable quick decisions that people need to make, whether they're online or whether they are in store. Ultimately, the data should be there to back up those simple little messages, such that for those people that are genuinely interested and want to see the data, it should be there. And our thought there, it would be on QR codes to enable that information share. Thank you.